Sometimes I cry. Sometimes Where are you off to? I'm taking my wife to the salon. Yeah. Is something wrong with you? You're taking your wife to the salon. While your fatal wife is here waiting to be taken to the hospital for antenatal. Seriously, I don't like the angle this conversation is going, okay? I mean, we have all the drivers here that can take her to anywhere she wants to go. What is all this? Did they get her pregnant? Don't upset me! Mother, I'm not enjoying this, really. I'm, I'm, not, I'm really not enjoying this. I said don't upset me! What I did to deserve this from you. I am not asking you to love me, Jerry. But what about your child that I carry? Doesn't he deserve father's love and care? Have you transferred the hatred you have for me to what your own? Unborn child? Jerry. Jerry, please. Please, I beg you. Jerry, this is a critical moment for me and your unborn child. Please. Okay. Have you thought of this? What if we don't make it out of the theater? What if we don't come out? Jerry, please. For this child's sake, please, I beg you. Please have mercy. Whatever I've done wrong, forgive me. I am truly sorry from my heart. Please, please, I beg you, Jerry. Have mercy. If not for me, for the sake of this innocent child, please, Jerry. Have mercy. Please, I beg you. Jerry, please, please. Please. please, for this child's sake, please. Please help us. Mr. Gokwe, it is advisable at this point of her pregnancy that you meet up with your conjugal responsibility to her. Please, your child needs that bond. Mr. Gokwe, it is advisable at this point of her pregnancy that you meet up with your conjugal responsibility to her. Please, your child needs that bond. Um, um, I'm going to spend the rest of the night in Sonia's room. Really? Yeah. 
When did you start sleeping in her room? Um, honey, please, let's not um, take this there. Let's not go that direction. I mean, she's having my child. Let's be fair. Help me, help me, Holy Spirit of God, help me. With a gift of a child. Oh, my Father in heaven. You promised that anyone that serves in your vineyard will not be put to shame. I have worked, I have served in your vineyard, God, all my life. Remember me. Remember me and bless me. Bless me with the fruit of the womb. Bless me with my own child. Please. Please. Show me your mercy. With a gift of a child. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Just one step. One step. One step. Okay? You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead already. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Sorry, dear. Sorry. It's just one prayer pointing me asking, Lord, give me my own child. Wow. In some peace I have served you God I dedicate to my life for you oh, There's nothing impossible for you God So I'm asking bless me now oh, Bless me Lord, bless me Lord bless me. Show me your mercy Bless me I
Please cover your chair. Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. She looks like a father. Father, I thank you for the perfect gift of baby in this household at this time. Amen. Only you can do these things. Amen. Only you. Look at your daughter. She's so cute. <laughs> we thank God. We thank God. Oh my God. You are here. My dear, just rest there. Mom. Yes, ma'am. Mike said he's coming with his people for the introduction. Um, he shows next week Saturday, being 23rd, I think. <laughs> you mean he's coming with his people for introduction? Yes, mom. Inokwa. <laughs> Look at my baby girl is getting married. <laughs> <laughs> well, next week Saturday. Well, that's fine. That's okay. Really? Yes. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Have you told your brother? Not yet, Mom, but I intend doing that as soon as he comes back. You intend work. doing that? You better tell your brother. Okay, Mom, I will do that. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Sometimes I cry, sometimes I weep. It's just one prayer point in my skin. Lord, give me my own time. Wow. In service, I have served you, God. This one you're taking pills. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> Slight headache. Have you gone for first? Ooh, it's not that serious. Excuse me. Mm -mm. <sighs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it's all those seminars and lectures that has had me occupied these past weeks. Yeah. And you have to go see the company. Are you serious? Yes. Hello, Barry. Welcome. Yeah. Hello, Barry. Hello. Did you tell me your wife wasn't feeling fine? What? 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 Of course. Who kind of drugs she's taking? Huh? Huh? It's just a slight headache. Nothing more than that. And you, you are magnifying the situation right now. Stop it. Mother, if it's light headache, she won't be taking all this. Huh? It's so what? No, no, you know what? We're going to the hospital. Right, right now, please. Honestly, yeah. Honest, honestly, we have to go. Please don't argue with me. We have to go. Please. Yeah. You don't need the bag. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord, bless me, Lord. Show me your mercy. Wow. 
have my tear. Doctor, I am so sorry I kept you waiting. Oh. You're welcome, ma'am. It was hard yes. to get out of my office. Many people wanted to see me. Uh, I understand. Has it been a long time you've been waiting? Uh, not really. Just quite a little. Just a while. I'm so sorry. Like you know, I, I have a phobia for hospitals. That's why I requested that we meet here. All right, no problem. You don't that. mind, do you? I don't mind. Okay. So, what do you have for me? Well, I conducted some tests on you. But I discovered that you are six weeks pregnant. Yes. It, what? It, six weeks pregnant. You can take a look. Yeah, that's true. I personally conducted it myself to be sure that there is no mistake. Yes. Congratulations, mother. Finally, God has answered your prayer. Are you saying that I... This is, this is not a dream, is it? No. It's not? It's not. Oh my God. I know I the God I said He will never let me down He will never disappoint me Yes, I know the God I serve, He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. He said, Go, I'm with you. You will make it. I'm your God. Don't be afraid. I'm your God. And I can never disappoint. Oh, He said, Go, I'm with you. He said, Go. I'm your God, wherever you are, I'm with you, and I will never disappoint. As far as my Redeemer living, so do I live on. I died and rose with Christ, no affliction will rise against me. He is my unshakable foundation. Ah, uh, I see, I know this look. It's neither here nor there, so... I have news. News? Yeah. From? Oh, gosh. I don't even know how I'm feeling. <laughs> okay, now my heart is beating. Yeah, seriously, I... The test result? I hope it's not bad news because you know me and bad news don't go well together. So, according to Dr. Ben, I'm pregnant. Six weeks gone as is written. You were going to do it. I knew, I knew it. Yes! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I knew you were going to do it. I knew you were God has done it. You're pregnant. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Mama has to hear this. No, no, no. Mother has to hear this. She has to hear this. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's always in the garden. Mother! Mama! He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. Yes, I know. My daughter. <laughs> You're my daughter. I want to apologize for the way I've been treating you in this house. I am sorry. Be good, Jerry, 
Jerry lost his father, my husband, at a very tender age. His father also lost his own father at the same age. I was scared. I was scared there could be untimely death in the lineage. Thus, my desperation for a grandchild. Please forgive me. Because it's okay. I forgive you. And I completely understand. I forgive you. No affliction will rise against me. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Listen, Mom. As far as this family is concerned, there is no such thing as untimely death anymore. Jerry will leave to see his children and his children's children and his children's children's children. Amen. Children's children, children, children. Amen. Because we're blessed. Thank you. You're welcome. You're such a good woman. You have proven me wrong. Thank you. You're welcome, Mom. Well, oh, Mom. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm with you, and I will never disappoint. As far as my redeemer. Amelia, I am so surprised. I never knew you could abandon me. Jane, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. Look, it's been so hard on me in my marital life. You know, I entered into this marriage thing when I was barely ready. Spiritually and emotionally, it's knocking me out. Don't say that. How is Mildred? That one. I'm beginning to see my old self in her. What? Please. It's my legacy, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> you need to stop. Mildred is a little girl. Mm? And I think the best thing you can do for her right now is get her close to God. I mean, she's young and flexible, so it shouldn't be hard to get her acquainted with the things of God from an early age. How old is it? What? The pregnancy. <laughs> what? How did you... <laughs> what, what is it that... Yes, my daughter. <laughs> the best part of it is, Scan has already shown that he's a male child. <laughs> I'm so happy! Yes! They are doing well. They are fine. Mother and child. They are fine. Yeah, extend my greetings to your husband as well. And tell him, I didn't say you to him. You know I'm your favorite daughter. And I know you must be feeling lonely. Especially now that I'm married. Mom, honestly, I miss you too. Yeah, I also miss our gossip. Lele, Lele, see who is talking. Oh, come on. <laughs> I asked my husband to buy you a car. <laughs> <laughs> of course, mom. And that's not all. We'll also buy you some new rappers while it's coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ah, 
Mom, Mom, I, I would have to call you back. I have some visitors. I would definitely tell my husband you called. Okay. Okay, then. Be good. Bye. Bye, Dad. Mommy, what's that? <laughs> Your sister. Oh. She's happy I'm going to have a grandson soon. Wow. Yes. Hope they are fine. Oh, sure. They are doing well. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Let's cheers to that. Oh, <laughs> cheers to my grandson. And to my nephew. <laughs> mm. Yes. Oh. Pardon me, besties. You know my mom and I are like two peas in a pod. Um, Harmony, you have said that like a thousand times before. You know, you're getting really boring. Can we just change the topic? Whatever. Like I was saying before my mom called, marriage is sweet. Especially when you're married to a man as wealthy and loving handsome as my husband. <laughs> How many darling, now that you're married to a rich man, I'm sure it won't be difficult for you to pay me that money. Bring it down, girl. I know you are broke and still single. That is why you want to spoil this marriage vibes. You're very stupid. You are mad. And no wait now. See, make at the end of wait. See, and I don't buy ring. I don't buy ring. Eh. See, and no, I, I've been they say I go go price wedding gown. Make I know how much they sell up. And no wait. And no, no, do this thing to me now. And I go friend to. And I'll wait and i wait. And i wait and i no see. See, make I tell you. Eh? I go come do everything with them to do for my head for your head. Now me they talk am. And I'll wait now. And i And i wait. And i wait. See. And no, now I need to tell you, and I beg, I beg, eh? And no, 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 and and won't leave me marry another man. Can you imagine? Eh? Open the gates! And I'll make a taxi. And for this place, what work? Now, maybe the general manager. Yeah, GM, no, GM. And not GM. Hey, 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 close my gates. I said, close my gates. Why not close my gates? What's your, what's your problem? Leave your gate, man. Let me tell you something. 
there is this girl I met, honestly. This new girl I met. Hi. If you see her waistline, I wonder. You will beg to have a one night stand with her. <laughs> Jim. Jim. How many times did I call you? You see, Jim. You were my friend. You were my best man in my wedding. Good. And as such, you should be telling me on how to be a good man. To be a good husband to my wife. Not telling me about some women. What's up, man? Stop all those pretense now. Why are you acting so righteous? Eh? You are a playboy. I know you. Your love for women. Ain't no fear. No be you again. Okay. No problems. I... I know what to do. But let me advise you. Let me give you this little piece of advice. Mm -hmm. You need to get married. Mm -hmm. You need to get married to one of those numerous girlfriends of yours. Right? Because I can continue to be a friend to a single man that talks nothing but women, women. Besides, we're in my house. My wife could be listening. She so used to like that. Um, no, 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 I don't like the way you guys are quarreling all the time. I'm too big here. Very useless. Hello, ladies. Come on, you're too pretty to be frowning. Nonsense. Are you coming? Is she always like this? Uh, no, she's not. One of those bad days, you know. Um. Your face rings a bell. Um, do I know you from somewhere? Um, I guess so. The best man at your friend's wedding, yeah? Uh, yes. Okay, I was part of the bridemaids. Oh, really? Yeah. The bridemaids? Um, can I have your number? Okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, let me run along. I need to remember. Okay, okay. Right, me. Okay, so two choices now. You want a fork or? No, I don't want a fork. You want a fork? <laughs> I want to take <laughs> my hand. Okay, your hands, uh, your fingers. Yes, right. and you know what I'll go for. Okay, I know. My favorite cucumber. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome, your highness. Mm. Mm -hmm. Am I eating? No. You brought all of this for me. Yeah, yeah. This course. is a lot. No, I know it's a lot, but you know what? Um, it's sexier what you want a wife to eat. So. <laughs> Put that down. <laughs> Put it down. Okay. There's more where that came from. I'm just going to watch you. Beautiful ABCs of womanhood. Eat. There's more, huh? There's more. There's more where that came from. Yeah, like there's more. How there's, much more? And there's more where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> you keep ah. talking crap and I'll push this into no, your no, mouth. No, it's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kidding I'm, sorry. Me? I'm sorry. Let me just keep elevating my wife, you know, elevate for you. Mm -hmm. okay? I'll just keep doing that for you. So I can't be bending, right? Um, you know, the result of bending kept you in this condition. So, hey, if you want to bend... Stop it. <laughs> okay, okay. You, you, need can, to up. you can bend after this is out. You need to it's shut okay. up. All right. <laughs> cool. Baby, we are not done talking. What is it again? Baby. I thought I, I told you that I'm running late to work. Baby, baby, please hold me. 
I don't think I can stay alone at home today. Just call your office, give them an excuse that you won't be making it to the office. Baby, please do this for me, I beg you. That will certainly not be possible. You know why? My office is having a crucial meeting with the foreign investors. I am in charge of that meeting, so I have to be there. See, you just have to take care of yourself. When I come back, we can talk, right? Okay, if you have to go, let me just tell you this. I need a car. You need what? You heard me the first time. I thought we've talked about this over time. That I do not have money for such. Why do you always come up with this issue? Baby, I am your wife. And you are not always available to take me to the hospital for Antinental. I mean, how do you expect me to cope? Jumping from cab to taxi, hell no. I need a car. And you must get me one because I know you can afford it. I think it's high time I told you this. Listen, woman. You made me spend outrageously on a wedding. All because you want to prove to your friends that your husband is well to do. After wedding, what next? No, tell me. What next? What did I get in return? What did I get from your family? Nothing. And you're here complaining. Listen, I have said that time without number. I do not have money for a car. And you have to bear it for the time being. Excuse me. I don't care at you do this unbearable. <laughs> Ever since Jen became pregnant, is Jen this, Jen that, everything is Jen, Jen, Jen. <laughs> My own daughter doesn't enjoy paternal love. <laughs> this thing is killing me. I'm so heartbroken. I just don't know what to do, mom. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's okay. There's no how anybody will tell me that that co-wife of yours has no hand in your misfortune. She enchanted him and made you not to conceive again after having your first issue. I am very, very sure about that. But me, Adobe, I can never be at the losing side. <laughs> yes. <sighs> How old is her pregnancy? Six months plus. Hi! This girl has killed me. Six months plus! And you are just telling me. You are just telling me. You don't know the implications. 
if that lady first gives birth to a male child to that family, automatically that child will become the heir apparent of that home. Oh. All the Ugoques properties, all their wealth. <laughs> what are you doing? You don't tell me. You don't let me know that she's pregnant. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> See you later. All right, bye. I'm not going to go to the house. So, what is it? Why have you been following me? Uh, Oga. I, 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 you know you're the biggest clown I've ever seen on earth. Sir? Now listen to me and listen to me. Next time you walk up to me to tell me this rubbish, I swear to God, I'm going to fire you. Now listen, you have the habit to come collect salary when the month has not ended. But you see this time, you're not going to have a couple oh, until the month is ended. Oh, big. If you know you're tired of this job, you tell me, I will gladly look for someone else. Now, will you get out of my sight? Get out of my sight! Get out! Organe. I said, get Organe. out of my sight! Organe, no. Organe. Cloud. Okay. Okay. My spiritual I have this idea that she is responsible for my daughter's condition in that family. And there's no way I will sit back and watch her gloat over me. Never. That's coming down. Stop <laughs> The trial I come from, we are celebrated for our weakness. A place where laughter means trouble. What kind of evil would you like me to do? Yes. She is now six months pregnant. I want you to terminate that child in that womb. But at this point in time, it is impossible to submit the child. Why? There is a strong edge protecting the baby. Strong edge? I can only destroy her with a forceful level. Good. So why did it take you so long to pick my call? 
I'm here now. Marvelous, do you know you're a bad friend? Why are you still chatting with Amani? I thought you said we're best friends. I don't understand you. What do you really want from me? Harmony has a bad character, yes. But that doesn't mean you guys should always be fighting each other. What nonsense are you talking about? Were you not there? Didn't you see the way she was making mockery of us the other day? So why are you sounding like a Christian all of a sudden? Oh, really? So it's showing that I'm a changed person. Of course, that's how I want my new boyfriend to see me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't tell me you accepted to date Jim. Oh. oh, I've got the devil. Hello. <laughs> I'm doing good, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> oh. Just see how you're smiling like someone who has won a lottery. Listen to me, my dear friend. That guy looks like a playboy. And soon you will find out. Christy, why are you so bitter? Why are you so bitter when someone finds true love? I think you need a man because I found myself one. And what's the meaning of this nonsense talk? Oh, really? I just replied to your nonsense talk. You think I'm, you th you think I'm what's her name? Harmony. I would just beat you like a child. Guy, stop laughing. Guy, stop laughing. Uh, yeah, stop laughing. I love Marvelous. But you I, know that's not possible. I want to marry her. You know it's not possible. Okay. Why? Okay, let me tell you. The why is that you that I know is a chronic womanizer. Okay? And all you want from that girl is the piece of her beautiful behind. And after which you're going to drop her for another. I know you now. Why did you deceive yourself? Deceiving myself? Uh, yeah. She cared to call him Port Black. You can say whatever you want to say. Excuse me. Hello? Hey, baby, what's up? Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> no, no, no. You know, each time I see your call, once your call comes into my phone, my heart keeps dancing. Yes, that's my baby. Uh, yes, you can go to the hotel now. I have spoken to the manager. He's going to give you the key to our favorite room. No, 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 no. I am in a meeting with some clients. So mm -hmm. As soon as I'm done, I will come over. But you can order whatever you want once I come out, clear the bills. Anything, anything. I love you, baby. <laughs> right, see you later. Now, we should go on here, woman. Well, you can say whatever you want to say. Hi! Yeah. You can say whatever you want to say. Keep driving, keep Thank driving, you. so that Gamma knows you've got to go for now. Alright, so. Guy! Hey! I fear you. Marvelous. I called to let you know that I have paid that stupid girl her money. Listen. I want you to talk to your friends. If I ever see her useless legs in my house again, <laughs> oh God, what I will do to her? <laughs> oh, she won't know what hits her. Harmony. Baby. Harmony, who withdrew money from my account? How can you say that when all your ATM cards are always with you and you've not told me your new password, so... Listen, don't give me that pretentious attitude. Money I've been missing in my account every now and then. And I know you're the brain behind it, so where's my money? Where is my money? My husband, why are you so wicked to me? Why? I mean, firstly, you refused me sex for like two weeks. 
And now you're accusing me of stealing your money. What have I done to you to deserve this? Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Anto. But I'm here because your hopeless and shameless wife has been spoiling my name on social media. Just because I asked her to pay me the money she owed me. Good enough she paid me the money. And then, she started writing all sorts of rubbish about me on the internet. Listen to me, Amelie. I'm giving you one hour to delete the rubbish you wrote about me on the internet. Else I will tell your husband something that will make him divorce you with speed. It is now obvious that all you want is to ruin my marriage. But it will never work for you. Listen, you better go and get married and stop pocknosing into other people's marital affairs. And stop looking at my husband like that because he is not your type. Harmony, I will not warn you again. Stay away from my business completely, else you'll be dealing with the devil himself. It's yours. Just look at her. So, oh, 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 wait a minute. Does she really say she will say? Baby. Have I wanted to always lock my gates? Madam, Madam, na, 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 go by. Eh? Na, 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 no. And what are you blabbing about? Madam, na, 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 what you na de blab that? Eh? Na, no, for village, the, the, the one can give and them and make him marry. Will you lock my gates, you idiot? I can't tell you. If you go help me, beg or Make it for paying my salary. Eh? This matter between me and them, Madam, you don't enter extra time. And I feel this much. If I know which village today, 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 Madam, today like this, as they talk. Will you get out of my sight, you disgusting thing? After all, it was you, you, who left the gate open for that snake we see to crawl into my garden. And you're here blabbing nonsense. Snake? Which garden? Gate where me I the, I be DM uh, for the gate. Snake enter, Madam Nalai. Madam Nalai, no snake enter that gate. If you don't get your frustrated lazy bones out of my sight this minute, I will break your head. Get out, Madam. Madam, this, this thing a wickedness. Ah, oh. huh? which kind of wickedness be this? How you are or go to owe me salary now no one pay me. And this thing they call man in humanity to 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 man. Ah in fact, I go carry this matter, go 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 marriage. In fact, go and pack your miserable belongings. You are leaving my house this moment. Madam, madam. I said you are leaving my house this moment. Madam, I need to go. I said get madam, madam, I need to go. Go and pack your miserable belongings. Madam. Like it? Okay. That's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> 